Jesus Christ our Lord. The ministry of, of the world. We are met in this solemn moment to commend our sister Charlotte Abiose Regina Lewis into the hands of the Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. In the presence of death, Christians have short ground for 
sensitive words of consolation. A words of consolation is coming from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 14, reading from verse 1 to 6, verse 27, inclusive. St. John, chapter 14, verses 1 to 6, 27, inclusive. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If you are not so, would I have not told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself. That where I am, you may be also. And you know the way where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, you do not know the way where are you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let them be afraid. I pray that these words of consolation be consoled the big family and all mourners.
She is from Ineos in the United States. She will then speak in Creole to Nayo saying things I couldn't always understand. But ending the conversation with, it's nice to meet you, European wife, or your European wife is lovely. Others try to, others try to correct her as well. But eventually, we all gave up knowing that a strong will was not going to allow her to change where I was from. I share this to bring a smile to each of your faces. I'm certain each of you have the opportunity to encounter a strong will at some point of another during his lifetime. It is this same strong will that I see in our daughter, her namesake Charlotte. Charlotte is almost nine years old and a strong will shines almost daily. I know this will serve her well as an adult and future leader. I am certain that our Charlotte and our son NZ didn't get to meet their grand grandmother, their great grandmother. But I'm not without hope because I know they will meet one day. Until then, in the moment of a daughter's strong will, I will remember Grandma Charlotte and will always be Nayo's European wife from Illinois. Message of condolence from Obunayo Wilson, grandson. We think of my grandma Charlotte often in her house. For one thing, her daughter is named after her, and so every time we say her name, we think of my grandma Charlotte. Like grandma Charlotte, her Charlotte is tall for her age, and a strong independent spirit which embodies the meaning of a name, also reminds me of a namesake. But my grandma influenced me in another way that is true testament to the power of example. When my sister and I will visit as a kid with my parents, they will marvel at how neat our home always was. We were particularly amazed by how our bed was made to perfection with no is this any, anywhere or any part of the sheets out of place. She taught us the value of excellence without having to say a word because she could be so meticulous about something seemingly so small as making a bed. She was communicating through her example the importance of giving her best to everything. My sister and I have moved on from having competition to see whose bed can come closest to Grandma Charlotte. But to this day, no matter where am I in the world, when I see a bed made, I always compare it to my Grandma Charlotte. And I've yet to see anyone come close. A grandma has a run speed, a run race in a 95th year of the earth. She was a picture of humility contentment and authenticity. She knew who she was and she was content with who she was. In this way, she taught us yet another valuable lesson by her example. It's hard to imagine more important bedrock of true soulful living. May a soul rest in perfect peace. Jiral Odunayo Wilson, grandson. Grandma was the only one who called me Ingo and my brother Odu. She had her own way of doing everything and stayed true to herself right until the end. I love visiting her every time I went home and one of my most prized possessions is the photo I took with her, my mom and myself the last time I was home with the three generations of Louis and we'll see women in the same photo. I so hope to have the opportunity to see her again and have her meet my girls and get that photo with fourth generation of us. But God had other plans and called her home now. Grandma, I miss your quiet strength and resilience. I miss you. May your gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Love in God's name. Tribute to my grandma, wife, and playmates. 
Ramako said, you were a shining light to us. All are disciplinarian, quiet, and hardworking. A woman would like to work for herself without bothering anyone. I will recall still at your old age at 80, cooking for yourself, doing your laundry work, and other housework. I can also recall the day I informed you that I will be getting married. That smile I can still remember. And the soft spoken words, may God bless you now. After her 90th birthday, I stopped calling her Grandma Ose and changed to Charlotte Lewis. Each time returning home, I will shout at this time, Charlotte Lewis, you did it? And you will respond, Ade, you don't come, Grandma, your love for my wife and kids, more especially Imanzi, was great. We will miss you, Grandma. Sleep and take your rest. For your grandson, Ayodhya Julius. Message from Ryan Lyony Lewis. So sorry I couldn't be there, um, but I'm sure in the future, once once my spirit allows me, then I might um, visit um, Sierra Leone again. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Uh, hello, um, my name is um, Ryan Lewis. Um, some of you may know me as um, Liam. Um, I'm the son of um, Sierra Lewis, and this is my daughter, um, Renee. So we send in our condolences um, to Grandma and the rest of the family. Um, don't really remember a lot about Grandma. I don't even have a place I've seen her a few times uh, when I went to visit um, my dad. Um, I know um, she was, I know my dad was obviously her favorite son. Um, that's one of the things I remember. Um, but it's obviously it's a very sad time for the family. Um, and you know, I'm just obviously sending my condolences to Um, once people believe in God, um, they will be able to see God by again one day. Um, so everybody plays be strong, put yourself together. Um, and yeah, you know, we'll be able to see God one day. Okay, thank you. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there. Um, but I'm sure in the future, once, once my spirit allows me, then I might um, visit um, Sierra Leone again. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. I'm sure those um, tributes and messages have said it all. But I have to cap it all with a poem I have written in praise of my mother. As you have seen from the short bio about her, she was an infant school teacher. And during the long vacation, she would ensure that she procures the reader and she would teach me to go through that reader. And by the time I went to school, I knew the reader from cover to cover. She placed great value on education, and that has helped us to go very far in life. So I'm going to read this poem entitled, Old to Mother, and Old is a poem of praise. Gone you are to your maker, finishing well a race begun nine and a half decades ago. You brought us into this world and nurtured us, giving us a start that has seen us through thick and thin, timeless values and ethics you imparted to us, honesty, integrity, truth, respect, values on the way, without which society flounders, kingdoms fall. Mother dear, you are part of the noble profession that forms the minds of the young. You are gone, but your legacy will still endure in succeeding generations. 
Oh, for more mothers like you to salvage a society and world gone haywire. Add you, Mama, sleep and take your rest until we meet again. Goodbye.
when the people around you. And then after a while, you even forget that those people existed. I think two, three years back, not too long, when me joined the ask and say, wait, mama, he said, mama, I said, eh, because we also say, especially when not in the village, I forget that say it is in that corner. So people they don't reach that today, but because of how they stand, you go not say they day. But mommy all say that quiet mommy. So it is not in small corner. You know that can be said. Even when he come, when he say afternoon, you go he say no more. He look at him, he smile, he pull his face. So it is not in small corner. In no get them for go make flower come small, not to wait all 95 years. In no get them for what for know what's in the apple, not the neighborhood, it is a small corner. I pray and wish that all of us, as we go in age, the point that that plan goes on, we go able for nothing. God be the kind of the world, for that we peace, stay at peace. We do want to know that in Jesus' name. Let our mama be there at peace in Jesus' name. Everybody has to go. And so even at 35 years, mama has gone and said it's a pointer that life goes on. But while we are here as human beings, we are mortal. Just we are. And so just we have to be told. But like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Death cannot claim us at this Easter time that we are celebrating this season, Easter to Pentecost. We are celebrating that the grave cannot hold our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And so for all of us to believe and trust in Him, death is not the end. Because our Lord said, because I live, you are going to live also. Amen? First Corinthians 15, 35 following. Does Paul ask the question, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body do they call? That is a foolish question. When you sow a seed, it cannot be made alive until it dies. It is not the body that is sown that comes again into existence. But God gives it a body as he wills, and to each seed his own body. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. When you born with them at this world, it's not like when you plant seed. When you put the seed down, if you know what thing, you know the beer. And so Mama Louis, Mama Offer, now in the show, say he don't go. But even though he has to go down to the grave, in body gets for the day. But that body did not the day. Because it has to go through a process. And that body will rise again through the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And she will become a whole person again. Amen? Amen. So everybody, when they come and go, now they can see where you don't plant. And when it's seed, it gets for calm, it gets for germinate. You get a good job, and then you come up again in the name of Christ. She came 95 years ago. That mortal body, what we see, that seed was sown, planted 20th December 1925. As when Mama Louise died, and I hear him, my mind take me back to Mama Ajayi when I'm young granny. Where in those days with the column, Mama wait to man. I never called um, Joyce back. I said, not so, Mommy, wait to man. Not so him. He said, yes. Because he didn't give me other name, but we not that that so that he named it. Ajayi. Now me young granny dandy. But Mami Ajayi go 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 sit on a high god street. In the wait. Wait every man, wait every man, wait every man. And if Mama Ajayi not see every man, he go there they say. Mama be not come out school late. Pahadin, they go go to mommy cooking, they go go there, they all know say I belong to them. Hallelujah for those days gone by. Amen. I hope say and pray like I have been there with that family day, not to blood, but I be family day. 
that we go take with company picking them, we company grab picking them, and make them we picking, and make them we grab picking, and watch them, and nurture them, and mentor them as then they go up in Jesus' name. Because when you do that one day, you they get blessing when you self not understand. And one thing we can have in mind, I just tell God thank you. That's my me ajay, it be able for it. For me cup of where I begin work back on my my guy. Like I can buy bread for them. Hallelujah to that. So when this mommy die, I get some kind of satisfaction inside me. That they don't want the way they not show me. I try for make some small impact in their own life. And that is what we are called to do. To make impact in the life of children, in the lives of people as they grow up. Not to put them aside. Not to say I know once for no. Not to say not to be picking. Not to say not to be family. But we have to do what God has sent us to do. Because as a seed, we have to go down. We have to get to that germination so that when death comes, we will be able to grab back and we will reach with Lord and Maker in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mama attended Mauritan Amalgamated School and then Methodist Girls High School. As we know, here, she was an infant teacher. When you get to picking a house for bringing a dam up, you know how difficult to be. Much more to get a group of picking them for care for them. And because she had that love for that work, that was why she, now that her seed has been planted, her seed will germinate. And even though she is going away, or she has gone, we will continue to think of her. We will continue to remember her and our children and children, children that we have had, her name will go on forever and ever in Jesus' name. The seed in her children are germinated in the lives of Joyce, Emmanuel, Olufu Mimehi, rest in peace, Prince and Desmond. What you plant is what you are going to reap. So since she has planted, as St. Paul is saying to us, the seed that we plant, we will reap in Jesus' name. Mom has died to rise again, but rise again in a different form. It's not the same, Mama Charlotte, have you the way they go now? Not to the same one. God has promised her, I have gone to prepare a place for you, that's where I am, here yeah, you may be also. But that place that she's going to, it will not be the same kind of body. She will be a different kind of person. Because God has promised her. And God is going to give her a body that is fitted for the resurrection in Jesus' name. For as in Adam, all die. Even so in Christ shall all be made alive. And I believe that's why their mother will be made alive in that blessed resurrection at the last day. So what we have today in front of us is a celebration of life in that casket. It is a celebration of life. Not the mournful tears, not the heartache, not the pain, but the joy to say, we have done our bit and taken care of my man until age 95. You see when Joyce wrote her validator, she said up to age 95, few days or so, she was still a strong woman. Hallelujah. When you are with the Lord, God will make you strong. It is not that those who died younger are not in the Lord, but God has made a path for everybody. Everybody got their own way for who. But in God yeah, that's scared me. That's all the mommy did time. But that mommy in the water come out up yonder, take a decision. The water can't do, the water go up back, the water can't do. You go see mommy cooking, instead go talk, they go sell. Oh, thank God for people like the man. I pray that we shall continue to be like them. St. Paul, he said to us this afternoon that when you live the life of Christ, your future after death will be a 
a future that will be worth it. Because you start your resurrection, your heaven, you start it right now. According to St. John, you start it right now being convicted of sin, of righteousness and judgment. If you do not do well in this world, at the time of death, you will not go to heaven because you are making your destination right now. It's as if we want to go to Waterloo. You will not be going down to Aqua Sports Club. You will be going that way. And so you start now making your life so that you will reach heaven in Jesus' name. St. Paul says, this present life has a corruptible body. This corruptible body, he says, will perish and decay. But the future body will be incorruptible. It will not perish in the life to come. Because there will be a permanence in which beauty will not lose its splendor. If you know Mami, Charlotte, where did they come up? Small, fine, Mami. Fear, Mami. If they go, Kuye, Kuye. Small, small, Saku, Saku. And if you be not a shine, when it be dead, na mogitonya so na this world, then she will shine when she gets to heaven in Jesus' name. This corruptible body, we don't perish, don't decay. It will change. That beauty when it get, it will return for manifesting in heaven in the by and by. He says the second body, the second point, this body which is dishonorable. You know this body of God, he said it is sunable. Take it away, you look yourself, you wake in the morning, food they ask you. You wake in the and they ask you. You want to eat, the body now, they take the food. You you angry, but you still bear full. You know the food, you know what to Okada, you want Okada, Okada they go eat you do. Now today they say all kinds of things may be. That the business center and along the area with their Okada them. And the same sense, 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 no come to no go yanda wo, no go yanda wo. Now so we did. So this body and soul, it corruptible and it is not able. All kinds of things they happen to her. But when you are with God, when your time will come and you lie in that casket, you change time for eternity. He said it is unable, it is also unable in Jesus' name. The dishonorable, the son to honorable in Jesus' name. Amen. You are no longer servants of your passion. We want guests, we want to make so, we want to make so. No. Is that by and by? You are just there to serve your God, to serve your Maker. Totally. This present body, when we so, when we look with self, we don't understand with self. We get limitations, we don't get power. He said, in the by and by, when you are like her, there will be no frustrations, no life, because you will have hope and you will have power in the name of Jesus. No, nothing, no frustration. I know, say, Mama, there were frustrations in her life. You know, after the big way, they get older and older, all kinds of frustrations, they can't have your life. Take it, you know, no self. But somehow, the thing they can't be coming to you. They're going to lose everything and so in the world that because at three hundred years now, so then they post in them, I can see post in them and the world that say, hey, now who that this? I know I'm one, I know they are Sabian. But the name now, now I know the thing now. I begin there for think and think and think. Much more at 95. But now that she has gone, all that frustration that they, it don't go. All them picking away, they can't bug now, they tick list and where they did, all they want, they don't go. She has found a new way to heaven in Jesus' name. Amen? This present body, it says it is a special body. All the perfections have gone away and they will be perfected in the name of Jesus. Why not therefore look at yourself and hold yourself up and say because I am in the Lord, because I want my God to be my God, I am going to do the work of him that sends me. How many of we parents that today, they take we begin and book set and go look their book. Say what you do at school today. In our days, as you come out school can, parents they want for know what you do at school. And that was what she was doing. Not because she was an infant teacher, 
But because of the interest and love that she had, no wonder me, Joyce go right. You know, if you don't read it, in a book for you guys, it's like that we love our saga do. Because now that you talk, you don't know say when I'm away, it's small. Now in my mother, they're not sugar. So that it, it take her. Because take it, they will pay them that they're not sugar. But we know they take her. But thank God, they're my not sugar. Give her that book. He said, for read them before school, they go pull. She read, she accepted. And today, she can make both to say, my mother taught me values. Hallelujah. Amen. For make picking the right, that our the right Nayasu. Tell our mother taught us timeless values. Timeless values. Values of honesty. Values of integrity. Values of truth, honesty, and respect. Parents who are here. If you are going to pay any tribute to Mama Louis. It's for you to teach your children truth, integrity, honesty, and respect. Teach them. So that tomorrow, they will not say, Me, Mama, I teach me that thing. Yeah. Me, Papa, I teach me that thing. Yeah. And they're not going to be passed from me in Jesus' name. I'll be just to tell Reverend and say, The security will get. He teach something. So I make a pull up for the sucker. Let me begin to ask me, You say you're a woman of God. You go see what I go do you. Say this month they don't. I go don't do you so, 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 so. And go call me people there offline. I say, let what you want for you. You come on and be called pal no more. Three o'clock morning. Now you go go for go inside to me. But you know what thing God do? Huh? Who say you go drop for go inside? If you are there, and they all took to come inside body. The security on one side is here. He jump God aside and catch her. All at the area. They beat and say, where you gonna go to go tell them say they attack them? Because the people that in also attack me, where they say they see me come, they say they attack and I go. But it don't cost me. Say you're not a woman of God, you go see what thing I go do you. But God should say yes. She is a woman of God and God fought for me. And so when you do the things of God, God effects for you. And when time on earth will come, you will reap in heaven in Jesus' name. Why not therefore put aside all ungodliness? All those things. That will not make you fit for heaven. Mama Ose, Mama Kukin, Pahadi, Ganya Jai, and all others of the Louis family, Pa Louis, Sisi Madina, all those who have gone, I pray that they will be able to reap in Jesus' name. Their corruptible body, they are incorruptible, will change to corruptible. They are imperi they are perishable, will turn to imperishable. And everything they are looking for, they will have in that blessed beyond in Jesus' name. Where we then at this world, God don't tell us that we get for good. And so what we have to do is to run the race of him that sent us while it is day. For night will come when nobody no know. For mama, in August 95. But if you listen to the radio, we have those who are below 10. Those between 10 and 20, between 20 and they are plenty with it. But you get 95. The past two weeks, we get 102. We get 103. What are you doing with your life? I pray that Mama, having done her bit, God will help her. God will help the family to be example, just like Mama was an example to many. To many. Let your life therefore so shine before men. That they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Impart spiritual values of truth, integrity, honesty, and respect to your children so that they will live by them. Children who nowadays do not have them, I make them for good as kids, they do all kind of a thing. I pray that these children will be values for the Lord in Jesus' name. We are all going old. I want to read, as I end, with this poem from an old lady, which I just saw at the age of 92. Whether you are 50 or 60 or 70, you will get there one day. This is what she said. I looked at the mirror, and what did I see? But a little old lady peering back at me with bags and sage and wrinkles 
and wispy white hair. And I asked my reflection, how did you get there? You were worn straight and vigorous, and now you are stoop and weak when I tried so hard to keep you from becoming an auntie. My reflection eyes twinkled, and she solemnly replied, you are looking at the gift gap and not the dwell inside it. A living gem and precious of unimagined world, unique and true. You only, you are only here on earth. The yard that spoil your gift cup with other things more well to purify and strengthen and polish up that dwell. So focus your attention on the inside, not the outside. Become kinder wiser and more content and more devout then when your gift cup is stripped away your jewel will be set free to radiate god's glory throughout eternity amen what you see here is just the gift cup but inside is the gift i say each and every one of us will have the gift inside that gift of integrity that gift of honesty so that when you go out they will see that gift in you and you will be able to reach your father who is in heaven may god bless us all richly may god continue to bless the lewis family joyce you are the head now may god be with you so that you will move the family one step forward in the end you will be able to say thank god for our mother who gave us timeless values and so things will change and you will read it and you will get to that by and by that place that he has prepared for you on behalf of the circuit superintendent and all other colleagues in the community we offer our deepest condolences to you members of the family i pray that mama louis may rest in perfect peace in jesus name
which you call them. We thank you that for them the tribulation of this world are over and death is past. And we pray that you will bring us with them to the joy of your perfect kingdom through Jesus Christ and all the same. Amen.
us all and giving your son for our redemption. We command your servant, Charlotte, and your son, we join you into your perfect mercy and wisdom. For in you alone we put our trust. Shall we all say Amen? Amen. The Lord's Prayer.
great shepherd of the sheep. By the blood of the eternal covenant. I give you everything good that you may do is win. Walking you this place in this sight. To whom Jesus Christ to be the glory forever and ever.
sure that we pick them up before we let us. We leave this edifice in possession to the seventy. We take the following order: the bank will lead us. Please don't comport yourself. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your attention.
we have a building from God, the house trust made with us, it's an early 85 months. I speak, and he fights the Lord, and my soul praises him. For a day, we not go to the We go to the church, we don't think that now.
merciful God, Heavenly Father, who made your Son Jesus Christ to be the resurrection and the life. Raise us, we pray, from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that when we depart this life, we may with peace our sister, Charlotte Abiyose Regina, be found acceptable to you for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you. Father of all, we pray for those whom we love, but see no longer. Grant them your peace. Let light for Who for the joy set before you the cross, despite spite from shame, and is seated at your right hand in glory. As they return from duties of life, let the peace protect them, and the amazing victorious cross will save them in your service all the days of their life. Amen. 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 The rising of the sun to the going down of the sea, we will remember you. Amen. The blessing from God the Father, God the Son, and God the ever blessed Spirit, with us all now and forever. Amen. Please, the deception and give them the Thank you. 